it's Holly the Twister Sister from Twister Sister Studios. Welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. This week I'm going to show you how to make the most adorable little bear that I came up with. You're going to need a couple of 260s, a 360, and then a scrap. So for today's teddy bear, I'm going to be using a light tan or blush colored 350 and I think that's actually the toffee color. Um, and then I'm also gonna do my bear using the 260s in brown. So I'll have a brown bear, but you could make this bear in any color. And then a scrap of a black 260 or a full one, whatever you've got. I'm gonna go ahead and inflate these and then we'll get twisted. So I put about six pumps of air in all of my balloons, my two brown ones, and then also my 350. You can see the size difference, the same number of pumps in those different thickness of balloons. I'm going to take one of my 260s and my 350. We're going to start off by tying both of these balloons together at the nozzle end. And then for the snout of our teddy bear, we're going to come over on our 350 about three to four inches or so. And then you want to bring your brown balloon over to connect into that twist. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come back with our brown back up the other side. So measure first, make that twist. And then you can use these nozzles here to attach that twist into, or you can do a little roll through to lock that new bubble in place so it doesn't come undone. All right, next we're gonna work on the bear's ears. So the way we're gonna do this is, I'm gonna do a small spacer bubble about that big, just a very small, nice round ball shaped bubble. And then I'm gonna do a big pinch twist. So do like a two, two and a half inch bubble and then make that bubble a pinch twist by twisting both of those twists together. And then we're gonna come over another little spacer bubble. And then we're gonna do another ear the same size as this one. So another big pinch twist, so about two, three inches there. And then make that pinch twist. So these are gonna be the teddy bear ears. So they're nice, big, plump, round teddy bear ears. All right, and then we're gonna put another spacer bubble on the other side, same size as this one. Now we're gonna take that spacer bubble we just made and we're gonna stretch it over the top. So you're gonna have your two brown bubbles on the back here and your tan one in front. And we're just gonna stretch this right up over the top into this twist on the side. Okay, and then you wanna kinda move these ears around a little bit so they're centered up as much as possible. And next what we're gonna do is we're going to finish out the round shape of our bear. This is very similar to Hello Kitty that I taught in um, the Twister Hood to my members a few weeks ago. That's a member exclusive tutorial. It's available inside the vault, our video vault, where we have I don't even know how many member exclusive tutorials, um, but it's very similar uh, to this design, but I came up with the Hello Kitty first. So then I was like, this could be a whole lot of other things. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our brown balloon here and we're just gonna kind of squeeze it to get some of that air pushed out and pull it down at the same time. We're kind of wedging it up underneath the head of our bear. So it's gonna be coming straight out the middle of the head instead of off to the side like this. And once we have it right underneath the center there, we're gonna make a twist. And then we're gonna do a small little pinch twist here. So another small bubble. And we're gonna pinch twist this bubble here. So just pull it out, twist it around. And there we go. Okay. Do, do, do. Now I wanna get this tan balloon out of the way, but I'm not done with it yet because it's gonna make a perfect big fat belly for our teddy bear. So I'm gonna do the same technique with this balloon, kind of massage the air out of the top part up here and pull it nice and tight into that pinch twist we just made so that this balloon also will be coming straight out the center of the bear's head where his neck should be and ready to go into the belly. All right, so I'm gonna let that tan color balloon just hang there for a second. I'm gonna work with the remaining uh, brown balloon that I have. So what I'm gonna do is just kinda stretch this, lengthen it out and make it a little bit thinner. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this coming from the center of the head on the bottom where that pinch twist is. And we're just gonna pull it tight and wrap it all the way around the head of our bear. 
like this. Okay, so you're gonna barely see his little ears peeking out the top. So they're just cute little short ears. And once we get back down to the base of our uh, head, we're gonna twist it into the pinch twist here at the bottom. It's ready and waiting for us. Okay, so you should have something like this. And you can kind of see where I got Hello Kitty out of this design as well. Um, but I think this would be a great little starting place for a lot of different characters, especially if they're wearing any sort of a costume or a hood or anything like that. Okay, so there is our little bear head. And we're gonna grab our second brown 260 now, and we're gonna use this balloon to make his arms and legs. So we're gonna take the nozzle of this balloon and just wrap it right into the pinch twist here at the base of the neck. Okay, and we're just gonna work with this balloon on its own for a few minutes. What we're gonna do for the arms, we're gonna come down about two to three inches, and then we're gonna twist a whole bunch. We wanna make this a nice, long, twist with some space there. You can see how we just twisted all of that balloon. So we have just a string right there in the middle of our bubbles. We're gonna do another bubble the same size as that first one. So we have our two bubbles here. We're gonna bring them back up into the neck and twist them together. These are gonna be his little arms, all right? So just leave that aside for a second. We're gonna come down the back we wanna make another bubble just slightly longer than our arms. So make your bubble here. And then we're gonna just do simple on the feet. We're gonna do two loops for the feet. So small little loops is all you need. So fold your balloon over and twist. Okay, once you've got your little feet done, then we can come back up the back side of our bear. So we're gonna just come straight back up into the head, make your little twist, and then wrap your remaining balloon around the head. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of crazy wonkiness going on here. Let me show you how to organize all of this. What we're gonna do first is take our arms, we're gonna bring those out front and underneath the tan balloon, okay? So we've got the arms facing forward in the front and then we're gonna bring this, it's gonna come straight down on top. So we're gonna sandwich those arms in between the back bubbles and our tummy bubble. So go ahead and twist your 350 down into your feet or your loops. And now you'll see he's looking a little cr crooked, <laughs> cockeyed. And so first thing I wanna fix up is the arms here. So we made that long, skinny, twisted spacer in our bubbles so that we can pull our arms open at the bottom here. Just grab each bubble and pull them apart. And then now you'll be able to see those arms coming down on each side of his tummy. All right, and we wanna straighten up the head a little bit. So you wanna try to get that pinch twist centered in the neck area. And that'll help hold his head and everything up nice and straight. Now, we've got two brown bubbles going down the back. If you want to fill out your bear a little bit more, you could use this remaining balloon uh, to make another bubble coming down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a third bubble out on the side here, measure it, twist it into those feet. And now we have some brown balloon here at the bottom that we can use for his little bear tail, which is just a little tiny pinch twist. So I'm just gonna let out enough air to have one bubble's worth of air in there. And I'm gonna take the tail that I'm holding onto, we're just gonna bring it, wrap it around those uh, loops for the feet, making like a little figure eight with it. And then that will secure his little round bear tail. And we are finished with this, so we can get rid of the rest of our 350 and just secure that around those feet as well. Tuck them up into the body to hide. And we're also done with this piece as well. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And ta-da! Now, as you can see, this is a blank slate. If you change up the colors, this could be a great character design for a whole host of different characters and animals. Um, it's hard to visualize this as a bear without the nose though. So let me show you the magic, how this changes once we put the bear nose on. Air out, so you have just enough for a nose, take both ends 
tie them together in a nice double knot. We're gonna take this no, that's gonna go right there. You see how that changes the whole character? Right now it looks like a little person, maybe wearing a suit, and then you put this on it, it's like, oh, now it's a bear. <laughs> so we're gonna take the uh, tail of our balloon, it's just gonna come, you can take it through the bottom, out the bottom here of his snout, or if it's easier for you, you can also take this tail and just string it, bring it straight back here. It might be a little bit easier to get a hold of it. It's gonna secure that black tail down in the neck or up in the head, wherever you can get it tucked away. All right, so look how that changes it. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> Um, I also went ahead and I put the little pinch twist under his neck and we just moved that to the back. That way you can't see the pinch twist and it still helps hold everything up straight and centered, but it just looks a little more seamless without that pinch twist right at the base of the head. But if you need the pinch twist in the front because you're having structural issues uh, with your design, then put it in the front but it works in the back on this guy and I think it looks cuter with it in the back. Now for the eyes, I'm just gonna go really simple, low center and close to the nose, just some easy ovals with some sparkle dots. And there you have it, our adorable new little teddy bear design. Only takes three balloons and a scrap, so this one would be a good um, option for restaurant work, birthday party events, um, maybe some line work if it's not a super crowded, crazy busy festival. Um, but very simple and cute, teddy bears are one that um, actually does sometimes end up tripping people up because you learn the basic one balloon teddy bear and then it's like, well, how do I, how do I upscale or upgrade this design? So I hope that you think this is a good option for your teddy bears and let me know in the comments if you see any other potential designs uh, with this character design that we learned today. What else, what other characters do you envision using this body style as? It could be so many other things. Um, again, we've already done Hello Kitty in the membership, but I've got other ideas, but I'm curious to see what else you think this could become with some different colors and maybe a few different twists or ears. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please let me know what you think and I'd love to see pictures of your take on this design in our free Facebook group. Come on over, share pictures of your work and we can all see what everyone did this week. And stay tuned to my channel later this week I'll be posting another video that's not going to be a balloon tutorial but more just a chit chat and uh, get together, talk about life and things going on and also maybe have some good advice for anyone else who has maybe ever um, been going really good on a certain habit or goal that you're working towards and then something happens, an illness or an injury or just a big event gets in uh, your way and kind of throws you off the wagon. How do we get back on and how do we get back on faster? <laughs> so I'll be uh, discussing that later this week. So if that's something you'd be interested in hanging out with me for a little bit, uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel to get those updates when I post new videos. And if you are interested in joining our Balloon Twisting membership where you get access to those member exclusive videos plus a whole lot more, uh, I'll put a link down in the description as well where you can find out more information of what all is included with the membership and join us there. Hope to see you guys over in the free Facebook group. Until next week where I'll be back with another free balloon animal tutorial for you guys. Thank you everyone, have a great week, bye. No, don't deflate on me. Toffee is fired.